to Mr. Green and a member Oppose each will control five minutes. The chair recognized the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green. Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, Madam Chair, the goal of this amendment is not to undermine the power of congressional oversight, but rather it is to protect the functionality of government. By providing a time-bound framework, we ensure the important regulatory decisions are not left in indefinite limbo. And that is exactly what can happen without the benefit of this amendment. And that's due to legislative inertia. Madam Chair, the framers of our Constitution designed a government that balances power between the branches. This amendment respects that design by allowing for robust legislative review while also ensuring that the executive branch can effectively administer and enforce our laws. However, let me be clear, while this amendment aims to improve the proposed bill, I still remain fundamentally opposed to it because I believe that the drastic changes that will take place will not serve to benefit our legislative process. I rever reserve the balance of my time. Gen gentlemen, reserve for what purpose the gentle lady from Wyoming seeks recognition. Madam Chair, I claim time in opposition to the amendment. The gentle lady is recognized for five minutes. This amendment undermines the very purpose of the RAINS Act. The RAINS Act rejects a standard of legislative disapproval concerning major rules. Instead, the RAINS Act creates a standard of legislative approval for major rules. The fact is that when in listening to my colleagues on the other side, it's very clear that they simply do not want to legislate. They want to turn over that authority to the executive branch in violation of Article 1, Section 1 of the United States Constitution. We don't believe in doing that. The fact is, is that the administrative state has enacted unpopular and unwise regulations that could never pass Congress. And that is why President Biden and his predecessors have sought to legislate through regulation versus our constitutional process. If Congress does not approve a major rule, it should not go into effect. This amendment would leave the status quo in place, and I urge my colleagues to oppose this amendment. I reserve the balance of my time. The gentle lady from Wyoming, reserve. Gen gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green. Uh, Madam Chair, uh, this amendment is not designed to delay, but rather designed to give us the opportunity to move forward expeditiously. In fact, that's what has been the argument of the other side, that we should move expeditiously. If expeditious movement is that, uh, the choice of the other side, then they should support this because it forces us to take that necessary action as opposed to get engaged in what uh, has been called the paralysis of analysis. This is a great opportunity for us to uh, link arms, join hands, and cause this legislation to move quickly. I think that this is what you want, is what I want, and it's what we can produce. I yield. General Gilles. Madam Chair, I'm ready to close. General Woman is recognized. Um, again, this is just one more effort to try to undermine the very purpose of the RAINS Act and make it so that it would not work as it is intended to work. It is this body's responsibility to legislate, not the executive branch and not unelected bureaucrats and not administrative agencies. We are the ones that represent the people of this country and are accountable to them through the decisions that we make. I urge the opposition to this amendment as it would undermine the very purpose of the RAINS Act and is unnecessary with that. I yield back. The gentlewoman yield. The question is from the amendment offered by the gentleman from Texas, Mr. Green. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. no. In the opinion of the chair, the, the noes have it. The amendment is not agreed to.